Hey, there we go. I'm too close to the mic. Hello, hi, welcome. I'm starting a little, a little later than I usually do. I know, but I just had to finish making uh, our our drink for the evening. This giant fucking hot chocolate. Uh, with with alcohol in it. Oh yeah, and that came out real nice. Hi Nami, how are you? So hi Char. Welcome. How are you? Holy shit, we're already halfway through the game. Ah. Oh. You'll smile a bit at the cutesy poster. Good. Let's fucking go. I I love that for you. Ah oh, yes. Alcohol. <laughs> I mean it makes sense, right? This is a this is, this is a game in which we drink. Which drinks are made. Hey, Kira Miki's coming back. Let's go. Oh, thank you for the lurk, Char. <laughs> More nano machines? Holy shit. Liquid courage. Ah, uh, you know what? With uh with how with how our last shift went, uh, we're gonna need courage. Let's just, um, let's just go to work. Good evening. Are you okay? I feel like shit. Uh, you sure you should have come then? You're in, oh, you're in all the right to stay at home. I have to come. I threw away everything I had in my life to be here. And people I loved were pushed aside just so I could enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom. So, I will come here until I die. Even after the bar closes, until my hair falls out. You're the one who looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah, well, your hair is hairy. Yes, it is. Ugh, who's the dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh, yeah, I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. <sighs> Why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home, rest a bit. My girl, my ex-girlfriend died, and I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all three years regretting and wishing to, but never actually apologizing for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led me to this. A bartender strapped for cash that distanced herself from all her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. So I won't fucking leave. I threw all of that away to be here, so here I will stay. This is what I wanted. This is why I left all that behind. This is why. See, you're starting to sound like a broken record. 
Um, leave her be. I'd rather have her here than be alone in her apartment. How are you feeling, Jill? I feel like a shit-eating piece of shit. The lowest of any possible life form you might find. Nanobs look down at me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. Hmm, you're spirited. That's good. Here's some mud. Working with Sira. At Sira. I know what I said. In any case, let Jill process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here. She's surrounded by people that care about her. That's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as Four might be, he's still just a cat. Why not have Jill stay, but not serve anyone today? What part of I won't leave didn't you understand? Oh. I didn't leave everyone behind to just sit and do nothing. Fine, fine. What do we do if she lashes out at a client? That's why you're healed, Gillian Pliskin. Oh. Hey, Joe. What? I'll be in my office, but if you need a break or a hug, just tell me. <sighs> oh, you already put on music. This is gonna be an interesting day. Ah, this fucking guy why why does it have to be him first oh hell no we meet again the bartender Regilio, what can I get you today the luminous pollution on the streets make it seem almost like a starry sky and when I think about stars I think about celebrities celebrities are fishy my favorite fish is the octopus so I want something octopus like Aren't you gonna do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being I'm not following Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in need of medical help Fine then, I want a sparkle star S P A R R Cool star Mumble <laughs> sparkle star for the mum. <sighs> okay, that's better. See, was it that hard? Have you tried to spell under pressure? You look angry. I'm spelling bartender. Are you having that time of the month or- This- This dumb bitch. No, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate, and- On second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. I get those too, you know. Period. Yes, last month I finally got over my renaissance and moved to my enlightenment. This, and here I was, thinking that you'd get to say something serious for once. Are you implying I'm not serious? Glaring holes through me will do nothing. I'm glare immune. <laughs> but if you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice. Whatever, it's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. So please, take measures against it instead of sulking so much. I'll, I'll, I'll be damned. I actually sounded half sensible. And here I was, thinking you were just a pompous lunatic. Hey, pompous lunatics have stories too. Really? What story? I w would rather not tell. Figures. You want anything else? We're seeing how that. 
Uh, bad touch. Oh, she didn't laugh at bad touch. That's not a good sign. I, I guess this is the one. <laughs> Maybe he's right and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Even though I deserve every second of it. If only I had apologized earlier, I might not be feeling this way right now. If only I... If only I... I, I can't even remember what held me from apologizing all these years. Uh, bartender, you're making lots of faces. Uh, pride? Fear? What kept me from going out and apologizing to Lenore? I can't even fucking remember what feeling kept me from fixing this whole situation? Can't I at least find solace in whatever feeling it was that brought me to this situation? Great, now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. Is... is she okay? No, but just leave her be for now. Hey, Joe. Say, no. I... I... Don't, don't perceive us like this. Eh? Oh, thank god. A normal person. What? A mummy! No, no, I don't have kids. Mm, still more normal than this twat. How are you feeling, say? Oh, well, my bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. Thank God I'm not someone that scars easily. I mean, wounds don't leave me marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. What happened to you? Uh, I fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. You look better though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. Huh! That sounds awfully familiar, doesn't it, Jill? <laughs> I guess. You're the one who looks like it now though. Hey. How do I put it? It's like when I called you your full name, but magnified. Yeah, don't mind me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? Um, please forgive me if I suddenly lash out. You or anyone else. Do you want something? Oh, my tongue's not so sensitive today, so let's have a beer. And you? Such a change in tone. I'm fine. I don't need anything. Here. Yeah. Hey, let's see if there are any differences from the canned ones. And? Well, this one tastes less watered down. So, did something happen to you? I'm fine. Nothing's happened to me. Beer? Yes. Beer. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna do a little... Oh, no. I just need... Oh god, that's bright. This this isn't bright at all. Can you see this? Yeah, you can see this. Perfect. Perfect. Who who are fine don't act like that. Oh, I get it. You're in those days. 
when it's that time of the month, I get a little, I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. No? I'm dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh! Sorry. Don't worry. Maybe I shouldn't come today after all. Um, no, I... Maybe... Ah! Uh, are you alright? I'm trying to find something to say. Making a joke would be tasteless, and I can't say everything will be alright without it sounding... Cheap. Oh, man. Literally me anytime. Someone says... Uh, someone's died. That is... Can't really find words. I'm at a loss as to what to do here. Sorry. Wanna hear something weird? That was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday talking about you. Oh. Well, ladies, I believe I he's <laughs> He, uh, he was not having whatever's, whatever the conversation is now. Virgilio. Yeah. You were just sitting with a Valkyrie. Really? Splendid. Make a good entry in my poems blog. Yeah. It's really not. Like, even... No, I'm coming from a... In... You know, old... Old Irish and old Norse culture, uh... Death is... Pretty important. Pretty major part of the whole thing. And... No, my my faith is based all around that. But even then, it's I can't really I can't really find the words to talk about it without without it sounding weird. If not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Hmm, like Stella when she first came? Yeah. No. I mean... <laughs> you could have given him a free beer or something and apologized. Yeah, I just keep messing things up with people. But you know, he seemed familiar. Familiar? Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I'm definitely going to need to stay hydrated. Yeah, I can't put my finger on it, though. I just feel like I've seen him somewhere. Oh, well. Might just be that he looks like someone from an ad or something. So, what brings you here? I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Why here? Be with you, of course. Well, say is too good for this world. That reminds me, how did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me real hard. It hurt. She said, that's for making me worried and not listening to me. And then she became happy. Huh. Can I ask whose loss you're dealing with? You shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Huh. Okay. You really want to know, huh? I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. Someone to whom I said some mean thing to passed away before I could ever see her again. Does that work? Yeah. 
Sorry. Knowing I can't do anything helps me calm down, but... I mean, it's not that I wouldn't help, I just... Calm down. I get it. So... Ah! Thanks for the throw, Aurora. So... I, this this probably isn't the greatest time but I keep getting distracted by just how defined uh, Say's arm is like she looks like it looks like she could punch me in the face and I would thank her for it I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. She's strong. Exactly. But I've learned that there are times when you just can't do anything. Oh, welcome back. How, uh, how was finishing? that and just there are times where you could just can't do anything and that's kind of fine but thank god i learned that otherwise it would have gone insane ages ago you're a good person say so. nah i'm just an annoying girl we suppose Yeah, Emmy, Emmy really seems to like spoilers. Oh no. Still, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I have broken bones, but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. Could always order another drink. Oh yeah, that. Let's do that. Give me something cold, please. Alright, all right, something, something cold. Um, let's do, let's do something sweet and cold. Um, uh, sugar? No. Sparkle star? No, that's age. Does this have eyes? No. Bye. Flavor sweet. Oh god. No. No. Remember? There we go. Yeah, they went they went a lot harder on this soundtrack than they really needed to pretty cold outside though yeah but i don't like hot or warm drinks they make me feel nauseous you know what cheers me up hmm singing hearing people sing helps too do you sing i mean did you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told me my voice is pretty nasty, actually. <laughs> but they've also told me I'm good with a harmonica. So you play the harmonica? I needed something to do some breathing exercises with. And a harmonica is a lot smaller than a tuba. It is a bop. And I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. Hmm, that's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I know I don't look like the musical type. I used to play the violin right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? Uh, the violin's at my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why did you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. 
no deep reason behind it. Oh, just like me cooking. That and almost burning my place up. Yeah, that would that would discourage that. When Stella coming? <laughs> oh, okay. Why don't you mention it? She's a bit late. Let me call her. You do that. I'm gonna take my break. Tell Gil if you need anything else. Sure. I just, just love everything in this game, man. Like, there's not really much else I can say. Oh, thank you for the stretch. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. story, art, fucking okay, gameplay. Gameplay is part of what gets you. It's into the story, you know? I'll, I'll probably go more into it uh, once we actually finish the game, but... Yeah. Back. Oh, looks like you've calmed down. Oh, hey, Retta. Hold on, I'm just gonna do a funny little... Boop. Retta Papa's here. I still feel like kicking myself. Like, no, make no mistake. But I guess I cooled out a bit. No, you're a king gamer. Yes. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sort of. What's up, gamer? What is up? We're doing... We're, we're having a little drink. We're playing a little... Uh, playing a little... Emotionally... Difficult game. You know, as one does. What are you up to? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I bet. They helped a lot with that one, though. I just can't stay mad when I see her. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. Mm, the way you are right now makes... Feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only one hindering me is the, the only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I've gone into burning building with a two centimeter deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more, and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Welcome. Ah, oh, hello, Jill. What's this about protecting who? Uh, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard. I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere with protection, so most of the time I only ask Say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyways. And she's more fun to hang around with, too. So I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard? Oh, uh, that's Buster. Pretty cool guy. Played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. As one does, you know. Sometimes it just... Sometimes you just lose your leg in a demolition derby. We've offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service, but he rejects it every turn. Well, uh, he got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. Uh, it's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to a stump. Honestly, that would be me. And yet he can still run faster than me with it. True. You want something? I'm fine right now. A Brantini. A big one. I'm in a good mood. One big Brantini. Yeah. 
Age mix. Bam. Here. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Ever tried to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? No. Because I can't afford to go to those kinds of places. Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Let's say, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking no for an answer. I know what you mean when you say some, you know. Might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you two something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? Uh, Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times, she started showing up more and more, and that was it. <laughs> My father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, the park I liked was the one they happened to be at. <laughs> Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I have to... This... Isn't this cute? Perfect. I'm saving that forever. So, you two have known each other for most of your lives. I've known her longer than I've known my own father. So, you good? What a question. No reason, you two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an item. A an item? What kind of item? A couple. <laughs> oh, I... Yeah, I get it now. It's funny because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. Three years in a row. So you two didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends? Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Rough. The kind of eat raw Bronson roots every morning. <sighs> Still, his brain went brr. But around me, he was different. I have memories of him barking orders to my dad only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting, though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. But yeah, these. The one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Uh, hey, Jill, what's this bloom light? A uh, spicy drink. Tastes nice the first time, but get samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one, too. Alright, two bloom lights. Ah oh, yes, torture your son, then play gentle with the grandchild. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, you know, that's just... Just how families are sometimes. And it is really brown. I don't know, I kinda like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. What? Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Who's. Uh, oh, and she's gone. Well. I can, <laughs> good night, say. <laughs> Joe Sand. <laughs> I guess she had too much before I came. 
Wait, no, hold on. We only gave her like two drinks. Oh god, oh fuck. Shut it down. Shut it all down. That and that she must still be tired from the whole bank thing. She told me about everything that happened in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the nanomachine treatment she went through as a white knight. Oh, Man, you know, this, uh, this big boozy hot chocolate was a great idea. Treatment? Uh, trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of division. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell, and poor Say is still paying for it. Disbanding of the white knights and subsequent persecution of those who were identified as former members. It's unfair, you know. Among all the people using the White Knights to further their goals, Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. Adolf, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. Treated her at no cost whatsoever. Fuck, in a cyberpunk dystopia? Free healthcare? Insane. Holy shit. Well, good karma and all that. She, she's her in the gods' favor, I think. But you know, all that made me realize I might be a bad person. No. When I saw Say wounded, asking for help, part of me was happy. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. How sad is that? Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows, maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. I'm safe. Let's get hamburgers and go home. Hmm... I literally me on a night out. <laughs> Thank you. Please come again. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Ah, Tim, welcome. I'm realizing all my female voices sound the same. Ah, yes, the headpants. I... <laughs> I'm afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up in someone's house or something. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. One sunshine cloud. I think, I think she needs alcohol. Hmm. Here. Thanks. So, how's work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. What? Yep. I went to the office of that chauvinistic horse blower and told him I quit. Why did you do that? I arrived early to my meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it only for the other bitches to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left, so my supervisor scolded me, so I snapped and quit on a whim. Uh, oh. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess you'll always have second thoughts. Even if you do what you want, you'll still think, what if? 
Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I even almost... What I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. I feel... free. Oh, here we go. Freedom again. It's a wonderful feeling, you know. I feel like now we can find something I care about. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I can still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in, well, never. <clears throat> but your family? Ah, uh, they weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you gonna do? And all that. But I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. Okay. I don't know. Bubbly or something. Big and bubbly. Um, big and bubbly. Big and bubbly. Oh, that's right. Bubbly. Bubbly is a thing. Right, hear me out. What if big cobalt velvet? No. Wait, why is bubbly a flavor? Or if, or what if we get her absolutely blasted? Cobalt velvet. Big cobalt velvet. Hmm. I mean... I mean, that might be something I, I wind up drinking sometime, you know? 18 units of alcohol? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, if a detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean out my insides. Excuse me? It'll also kill things inside. I gotta ask though, how did you end up working there? No deep reason. That's what I did when I got out of high school. I mean, Neither one of them are wrong. Mm, taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. Don't, don't look at me like that. <laughs> don't give me that. Okay, okay, which, which one was it? Was it the cleaning and killing or was it the high alcohol content? Uh, to be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. 18 case. Both? <laughs> okay, yeah, no. Uh, too much pressure from my family. That's a really common tale, I guess. Okay, listen, listen. The absinthe I drink is... The absinthe I drink is 60%. And I can do... I can do like two or three of those? Yeah, yeah, two or three of those. <laughs> mm. 
Did you have troubles like those? It's the same story as, and he didn't share. <laughs> I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom, a little pause to stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. I uh, give uh, something. Something. Sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. No, okay. Uh, something. Something. She wants something. Uh, what do you say we... What do you say we pile drive her? And he didn't share? Listen. If you... If you want to hunt me down... And we, and we figure this out over a bottle of absinthe. <laughs> Here. Thanks. I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Ah, uh, don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you gonna do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, I can do whatever I want. Study whatever I like, work whatever I want. I know it's not that way and it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than when I was out of high school. That's good. Some people don't get that. I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Mental health should be your priority and all that. Thanks, I really needed the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. You should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Dorothy! Ah, <laughs> uh, Dorothy. Sorry, we're just closing. I know, I came for you. Me? Why are you hugging me? I paid her to do... <laughs> Fucking damn. <laughs> All night long. Come again. But to put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you, and she won't leave your side. What do you hope to accomplish with this? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there'll be any water in it. You calm down a bit. But honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. Ah, that's some alien reasoning right there. It's not. You need hugs. Many. You need some human... Uh, humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time. Now, you're playing by my rules. Please take care of me. Uh, uh, she's too cute. It's it's illegal. It ought to be illegal. How cute Dorothy is. All right, I will be right back. I'm going to top off my drink.
uh, this, this isn't me being back, but I just realized so sometimes I forget uh, that Dorothy is a sex worker <laughs> whose niche is looking like a child. I forget. Sometimes. Apologies. Yeah, I don't know how I forget that. It's one of the more, like, jarring things <laughs> in the game. <laughs> don't, don't give me that. Don't give me that. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just get lost in the character, you know? Camera emoji I can use on <laughs> You know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? I'll do it to myself. How's that sound? I did it to myself. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ooh, monster girlfriend game. Let's go. Gorgeous graphics, innovative and addictive battle system, fun dating mini games, cute girls, and fucking music. Do you like that goat girl? But at least you remembered. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Halloween was back in October, but this terrifying tale didn't become popular until now. Reports say that Lilim across the city have been receiving strange transmissions, with messages that are confusing at best and threatening at worst. The contents are not clear, as most of Lilim can remember exactly what they had heard. The most mysterious thing of all is that perhaps the fact that Lilim could not record any of these messages while they were broadcasting. It's almost as if someone had blocked the Lilim from doing so. Well, we have nothing but anecdotal proof. Even among our own Lilum, the mystery behind these messages is one we should be paying attention to. At least you remember? Yeah, yeah. I sometimes she's just so cute you forget. Ah, hey. How are you feeling? Lilum are soft and warm. 
Come again. You heard me. So on a scale from steaming pile of shit to just sad, where are you? Hmm. A sad pile of shit. I still hate myself, but I'm still sad as hell, but the noise stopped. I don't know if I explained myself. Sorta, kinda. So, how were things last night? Cozy, I must admit. I can't believe you paid Dorothy for that. Well, if you want to call that payment, I guess. Hm? I called Dorothy to tell her what happened to you, and she was really concerned. She started for a second saying that she had the whole night to go, and she couldn't just leave for free. I asked her how much, and she said enough to pay for the soda I'm having is fine. <laughs> How did you get her number? I have contacts. Right. Anyways, Jill, if you need a second break, drink or a hug, just let me know. Thanks. I'd make you the same offer, but I'm guessing hugs from me are the last thing you want. If you need a bartender, let me know though. Nice to know. Anyways, we have work to do. People who have people, people who have people, you yeah. know. Time to have mixed drinks and change lives. It's nice to hear that again. Did you say something? Did I? Hmm. Hey, be more respectful. I brought my boss here. Is you a part timer here or something? My other boss. You're talking to the great. Nacho Tumbleweed Jr. Boss, I'm taking my break. I know what I said earlier, but you haven't even started. Shit. So what brings you here today? I want to see the place my best soldier is working at. A soldier? Wait, aren't you the dog I served last Monday? Oh, it's you. Yeah. Soldier, why didn't you tell me you were working for Dana? No, that's not Dana. That's just Jay. Hmm. So, I'm guessing you're part of the whole Sierra thing. Part of it. I founded it. Humans have the best intentions, but they just don't get us. So I decided to create a place where dogs can be dogs. Here, we can take any dog without a place in this world. We created our own heaven on earth. And do you take corgis only? Do I look like one of those safer bitches? Of course not. I'd include other animals, but sadly, I can only take care of those who are the same species as I. The sad thing is, I take it more seriously, but it's a talking corgi with an eye patch. Will you get anything? I'm fine. What about you, boss? Manly stuff. You sure? Did I stutter? Alright. Something better. Um, it doesn't need to... Maybe I should just give him something better. So she says just bitter. Maybe we leave off the manly? Sunshine Cloud, Burder Burly Soft. Um, better the punch, but I think the rest of the bitter drinks are manly, aren't they? Um, 
Okay, I'll just I'll get a gut punch. Age mix stop. Here. Yes, this is just what I wanted. Blah, this tastes worse than my own butt. Hey, you asked for it. This is a really nice place, you know. You picked a good place to work at, soldier. Thanks. Do you really get paid? Your efforts to keep Zero afloat will not go to waste. We'll make her better and better. I mean, we're pretty much on the verge of closing. Can Boss really afford that? You have more urgent matters at hand, though. Like the fact we don't have enough balls for everyone. Uh, can't they just share the ones we have? You fool! Every dog has a right to his own ball. If we can't provide even that, then what's the point of even trying? Wait, don't tell me she just doesn't give a fuck and is spending all her money like water. I mean, not with the bar closing and all that. But many have enjoyed the boxes more than they do the balls. Mm, that's a good point. What do you think is cheaper, a box of balls or a box of boxes? Are there boxes of boxes? Of course there are. How do you think they ship boxes? Mm, tied together? Tied together, don't be silly. Unless she's paying him straight from her pocket. Boss is that kind of woman. This world is filled with all sorts of recursive madness, you know? Doctors consult doctors. Boxes come in boxes. Bottles come in bottles. Ooh, as expected from you, boss. Wait, that thing really works assuming she's actually paying him with money. For all I know, she might be paying him with stakes. So tomorrow you're gonna check for people selling boxes, you hear? Sir, yes, sir. Except that to boss, a good stake is more valuable than money. Wait, what if they come with foil? Russin Strauss had been taken to the vet because he ate the foil. A piece of cheese came in. Curses, you're right. We need a contingency plan. Besides, boss is not one to scam people, let alone a dog. I wonder if we can strike a deal with the vet those safer bastards have. She's always so nice with us. I know, her smile is so cute, too. So it's better that we vet for a vet? Yes, put that on the list. Ah, Nacho. Oh, yeah, I forgot she knew the dog. Are you staying for a while? I love how detailed the dogs are. No, oh, I was just passing by. Got some errands to run. Great, you can go with you. I can? You will. I'll still get paid for it today, right? That depends on Nacho's evaluation. Alright, Greenhorn, let's get going. Uh... Oh, I'm paying him anyways, by the way. I just wanted to mess around with him. No, that's not the problem here. Why make him do that? Ah, Gil looked like he needed to take a good break. He's the kind to just not accept such a thing. Well, with Nacho, he'd have something to do. And he'd be away from the bar for a bit. You can put it that way. Anyway, I'm going back to my office. And your boss sure is nice. Glad I'm working with her, too. Yeah. So you having anything? Actually, I'm just gonna go sit over there and be on standby. Wait orders. Okay. Shit, I missed the chance how or even if he gets paid. Man, I sure need to get wasted. I fail to see how getting wasted will make you feel better. Sheba! For fuck's sake, you piece of scrap. We just got out of a building full of dogs. But this one has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Hey there, Roba. And he talks. Uh, welcome to Valhalla. Hey, Jill. Give me a beer. Okay, roll. Sir, yes, sir. So cute. He's fine. Just a beer, then. Can't argue with that. 
That Jill, you read my mind. Oops. Mix. Stop. Big beer. Here, let's make it special. Yeah. Cheers. Hey, Jill, do you like beer? The amount of beer cans in my apartment is becoming a problem, actually. Oh, I had this friend back in high school who made some pretty nice crafts with them. Still in contact with him, if you're interested. No thanks. Last thing I need right now is more crap taking space. So, how are things up at Dogtown? Oh, a Laura girl is stirring things up, for better or for worse. For worse? She's, um, like a rabbit. Oh? Do tell. <sighs> An overtly politically correct rabbit. R rabbit? Never had a pet rabbit? They're a nervous mess that gets startled over the littlest of things. Yes. 100%. Where is my son? He's somewhere. And this girl is on a constant lookout, scared of saying something that might irk someone. It doesn't have to be the person she's speaking with, even. Where is the baby? Oh, he might be under the couch, actually, now that I think of it. There's no problem in the company, but the other day we went out together and holy shit. Poor girl can't speak properly. She pauses every sentence to make sure she doesn't say something offensive. She's a nice girl, and it's sweet that she tries so hard not to offend anyone. But seriously, she tries too hard. You don't help either. Hmm? You randomly yell, what did you say, whenever she's within your shot distance? Yeah, well, I... <laughs> Her face gets me every time, man. <laughs> Just that, so cute when she's startled. Like a rabbit. It raises out the question of whether she's really like that, or if you're the one making her wary of anything she says. Well, why don't we test that? Now, you go out with her. Why? To test if it's really me who makes her like that. It's not like you can say no, you know. I mean, it's my honor that's on the line here. I want to prove you're only talking shit about me. Even if you were right, you have quite the fixation on that girl. She's fun. Fun how? She actually reacts when I tease her. You take it in your stride, but she actually gets startled, squirms, and then gets uncomfortable. How is that any good? She's cute and her reactions are cute. If you keep this up, she'll either leave or get used to you. You know, like me. Shit, you're right. I must save my teasing for when the moment is just right then. No, that's not the problem. <laughs> it is for me. What are you doing here? What about the dog? Ah, uh, he said he had to go out. And by the way, he said his name was... I say, this Laura girl, do you guys get along? I wanna know. We get along as co-workers at the very least. What kind of girl is she, aside from the whole politically correct rabbit thing? Slow. She's the kind that does things so carefully that she does them really, really slowly. Really, really slowly. I can't deny that when she actually finishes stuff, she does a great job, but it's unnerving. She doesn't actually have to be with us in the building, though. She's more like a freelancer. Why is she there, then? Because she likes dogs. And that's why I insist that you two would make a fine couple. It's a really superficial statement. It's like saying you'd be fine with someone because you're both women. Okay, bad example. <laughs> May I say something? By all means. That lower girl is really as 
bland as you claim her to be, wouldn't she be better off with a more, um, a more assertive person? Lilum? Uh, more assertive partner? Yo, piece of scrap. She's totally calling you a pussy. Mm, she's right, though. Sharing interest and being compatible are totally different things. But then you'd be underestimating the power of love. Whether you want to admit it or not, love changes people for better or worse. Who knows, maybe you'll become more assertive after spending time with her. Or she'll drive me nuts. I guess that's a possibility too. Some of you may die. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Still, why are you so insistent on me and her getting together? Because she's like a cute rabbit. So someone might try to need her out there. It'd be a lot easier to keep her in my sight. So in short, your motherly instincts arose because of Laura. Oh, I don't see if she likes you. And you already tried to hit on her, didn't you? You may sound like some skirt chaser. She's not into girls. How did you find out? I asked her directly. No, of course you did. You seemed, um, giddy afterwards, though. I heard her muttering something about meeting her first lesbian. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. It was weird. Okay, enough Laura for a night. That... Refrain from using that's what you said last night jokes or variations thereof, please. Oh, party pooper. Get a drink then. Sounds good. I'll have a bloom light, please. Give me a fringe weaver. Bloom light and fringe weaver. Bloom light. Fringe Weaver, let's go. Here you go. I wonder why it's called a Bloom Light. Seems it was first developed at some video games event. The creator said something about making the attendees feel like their customers do. Said attendees were, of course, a part of some big games company. Seems that company always used too much Bloom Lighting, so the bartender there literally made them a drink. All the Bloom. Made them drink all the blue. Oh, so it's not called that because it glows in the dark? Not this one, though. No. What to think of it? Did you ever change because of a relationship, Jill? Oh. Uh, in more other ways than one, I guess. Did you say for better or for worse? Yes, for the better. I'm too thick headed to develop any new bad habits. Although, thanks to my first boyfriend, I did pick up a very annoying habit of correcting people's grammar on the fly. Pretty annoying when I think back to it. Ah, so you're one of those kinds of people. As for me, I think I became more... what's the word? Cynical, jaded, bitter, and tired of the crap this world and everyone in it throws on a daily basis. Hey. I'm just quoting you. <sighs> but yeah, I think I became all of that because of this one girlfriend I had in college. She got me into the whole activism thing in the first place. How was that bad? We'd all go and protest. We'd start all kinds of movements to see things change. I really got into the whole thing. But whenever I wanted to get more serious, I'd find myself coming up against a wall. That wall is an analogy for the fact that not everyone is willing to go that far. I found out pretty fast that most of them were in the whole thing because of some shitty fad. Oh. <laughs> and not because they actually believed in whatever movement they were championing. 
so I moved from group to group, only to find people who were in it because of a fad. And when they were not in it because of a passing fad, they were of the dangerous extremist kind. My tolerance for people's shit was greatly diminished after all that. So it wasn't so much the person you had a relationship with, but rather the other people. Um... You seriously never thought about it that way? Uh... You need to stop putting the blame for what you do on past relationships. Whatever. Where's the other guy, by the way? He had to escort one of the dogs outside. Figures. Oh yeah, the one that was here asked if you were the nice vet lady that works at Safer Toy Company. I suppose he's interested in talking to you or something. Why didn't he do it then? I don't know. You've been doing a few jobs on the side, haven't you? Uh, the pay from the dogs isn't enough to keep up with the mounting debts. I don't know how you do it. It's hard to believe dogs pay you at all. But this is coming from someone working at a place that pays a dog for doing fuck all. At least I think we're paying him. I'm not completely certain we do. Do you get anything else? Well, we're fine, but we have to get up early tomorrow. And by we, I really mean her. She got invited to a picnic, and I won't stand to hear another I had to go to a picnic with a hangover story. Fine. Let's go then. See you, Jill. Bye. Please come again. You're such a party pooper. You'll be the party pooper tomorrow if you keep drinking. Ah, so I'll take my break. Tell me if someone comes. Oh. I'm gonna take a second here. Maybe finish my... Maybe finish my Coco. Hang out, pal around for a second. Mm. You know, Jill isn't having such a hard time anymore. I can take off the take off the, the sad eyebrows. Where is Perry? Perry, baby. He's my handsome little man. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's under the couch. Hmm. No dogs in sight. Ah, oh, I was so close. And then back to work. Welcome to Val. Oh, hey there, Alma. Alma! We're just gonna. Um. Uh, seems down. Maybe there's something I can give her to cheer her up. So oh, fuck. Piano woman, isn't it? No. Brantini? I'm almost certain it's Brantini. Recommended, but they're too busy being smug assholes. Right, 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 right.
Yeah. So you at least change your expression. I don't just say you're worried about me. You got the message anyway, didn't you? Yeah. So, who is it? Brantini, you do pay attention to what I ask for. Now you have quite the fixation with Brantinis. To be honest, they suit you. Hey, wanna hear a silly story? When I turned 21, my dad and I went to a bar to celebrate, just him and I. He told me to dress well enough that he looked like my sugar daddy. That's fucking weird. Mm -hmm. It was a fun night. We pretended and at times we were dating managed to blow off some steam about my mom, but the highlight was him ordering a Brantini for me. I had plenty of drinks and gotten wasted many times since I was 15, but that drink was different. It wasn't about getting drunk, the drink itself was pleasure. You two said they suited me somehow. Oh? Ever since that day, he's called me Brant Teeny Girl from time to time. Your dad sounds like a cool guy. That sounds like a pretty righteous dude. Mm, you should meet him sometime. So, why are you deflating? Deflating? When I got sad and started sighing repeatedly, my grandpa would warn me that I would start deflating like an old tire if I kept it up. <laughs> so what is it? When is the news about people dressing in bunny suits after the whole Alice Rabbit soon? What? Man, I... It's too much in that drink, man. Ah, that's old news. I mean, it is a problem, but such a thing would only annoy me. Hey Joe, how's your mood right now? I wouldn't ruin it by blowing off all my stored steam. Silly Alma, I've been feeling like utter shit the past couple of days. You can't make me feel worse. Go ahead, unwind all your worries on me. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so remember my sister Diana? The one that separated from her husband and forgot her kid while fucking her way around or something? Perfect summary, I'll use it next time. I didn't tell you the whole story, more specifically that she threw her husband out after months of abuse. Oh. However, that woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself, and I mean that she never even thinks about selling some stuff or trying to earn her bread, just expects a guy to do all that for her. I have no idea why she turned out like that, both my mom and dad were hard workers. They even started a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Huh. So, what does this fully capable woman do a couple of weeks later? Why bring her abusive husband back, of course? What? Ah. And the guy spent a couple of days with her before leaving her again. Got a nice couple of hot, steamy nights and then left. Uh, well... Huh. You reacted like my little brother and sister after hearing that. But the story doesn't end there. Oh no. So she's broke and can't even get enough for a bus. Even though she'd probably be glad to sell her ass just to get money. And it was up to me to pick her up. The last couple of days she left her kids with my parents. And being such sweet angels they've made a mess out of the whole place. 
Bernardo and Ava are actually staying with me a couple of days to give them some space. It doesn't help that I never got along with Diana. Um, hello again, Rosalka. So we're in the car, and she asks how her kids are. And of course, after all the built-up tension, I just... exploded. First, I started ranting about how her kids are growing up, seeing some messed up stuff. I start scolding her about not taking responsibility, about not taking proper care of her children. I tell her that she's in no place to have all those escapades. After all that, she just says, What the hell do you know? I don't have any kids. Yeah, you slutty skank. I don't have kids, but I'm not broke just because I refuse to take a job. I don't have kids, but I'm not leaving them in the first barely familiar house I find. I don't have kids, but I'm not letting the guy that hit me on a regular basis back into my bed. I don't have kids, but I pretty much raised Eva and Bernardo, and they've turned out pretty damn well. I don't have any kids, but I'm not a cheap whore! Ah! Doing well today? Yeah, I'm doing alright. How are you? I don't know what to say. Uh, there's nothing to say. I love my family and I put them above all else. Diana is seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. Any way I could help? You just did. Huh? I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not one to let stuff like that get to me. Still angry as hell though. I couldn't just discuss this with any of my family members. I can't tell my mom your daughter is a slut. I just... Oh, I need to get all this off my chest, you know? Well, from what I've seen, there's still a lot more to get off your chest. It's swollen as fuck. Nah, you see here is filled with love and dreams. Is everyone in your family as busty as you? The worst offender is my dad, Eric. I guess the only one that didn't get the big booze gene was Eva. She insists on getting surgery or genetic treatment, but I tell her she's fine the way she is. These can actually be more of a hassle than a blessing. And poor Bernardo. His breasts actually started growing when he was eight. Holy fuck. Is lurking in your chat? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, welcome. Glad to, uh, glad to have you. I just hope I don't take too much from my mother's side of the family. My father's sister still look quite young, but when menopause hit, my mom lost her looks rather quickly. Any good genes you have from your family, Jill? Good enough skin and hair, I guess. Large, yeah. Yeah. The thing about a shrimp allergy, but so far I haven't had problems with that. Oh, I see. You know what worries me the most about the whole Diana situation? How your nephews are turning out? Ah, if she leaves them with my mom, they'll turn out better than her. Somehow. Actually, what worries me is, what if I end up like that too? <clears throat> there we go, got that cleared up. If I find a good man and I settle down, what if he turns out shitty? What if I have a sudden burst where I want to live my life and end up like that? What if I have kids and I end up neglecting them because of all of that? If you ask me, the fact that you're even worried about it is indication enough that you'll be fine. And you think? I'm pretty sure. I said before that she had pretty much married the guy after a couple of months, right? No offense, but those are, those are the kind of people who wouldn't even think about all that. Besides, if any guy ends up marrying you, it's because he passed your rational standards. Hey. <laughs> Am I lying? No, but there are things best keeping as unspoken things. Ugh, wonder if I'll ever find a good guy. You will. You'll know when the time comes. I sure hope so. 
For now, the time has come to get another drink. You're here. Oh god, a marshmallow almost killed me. Not gonna get you. Um, give me something with ice, but alcoholic, please. Cold. With alcohol. Oh, man. Um, something cold with alcohol. Oh, fuck it, we'll do this by name. No, no. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, bad touch does. Mm, cocktail. Yeah, cocktail time, baby. You know, for as much as I enjoy drinking, I don't really do much, uh, cocktails. on velvet that's like half alcohol they're overly they really are they can be a real pain to make at home too sometimes oh no like I like uh, I like a Moscow mule but that's a whole thing of getting the ginger beer you know Not every place just like has ginger beer. Not every store just carries the stuff, you know? Um. Hey, stop chewing on that. something sweet oh, you know sometimes I'll uh, if I've got the Kahlua I'll I'll treat myself to like a like a white Russian here you go thanks I needed to cool down a bit that's why I'm here. So, you said you felt shitty the last couple of days. Why? Don't think too much about it. Oh, come on. You've heard my problems. I want to help you, too. Don't worry too much. All right. I almost forgot to tell you something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My boss is throwing a mega Christmas party this Sunday. You want to come? Sure. Something tells me this mega Christmas is going to be a mess in my parents' home, so I'd rather avoid it. I do it with milk, because I don't, uh... I don't, I don't fuck around with the half and half. Because I don't, I don't do... I just drink my coffee black. Oh, the chocolate milk. <laughs> Shit, you ain't wrong. You guys getting chicken? I can get one. Mm, to be honest, I wouldn't know. You can bring it if you want. It won't go to waste. Gotcha. Jill, what's your favorite part of the chicken? Favorite part? I guess I like legs the most. Really? I like breast, but god damn. Breast is a bit too simple, don't you think? Legs have a better texture. Maybe, but simple is usually better. Breast is easier to enjoy than legs. And a lot less messy. Hmm, you silly girls. <laughs> oh, Dan Dana's coming in. You're, you're there talking about breasts and legs when everyone knows the best parts are the wings. <laughs> Boss, what's that? Oh, I could go. 
I've had chicken wings in a while. Spicy chicken wings. Where did you get spicy chicken wings? From a spicy chicken. You know, spicy chicken. The, the shop two blocks from here. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Why aren't you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Well, because... Eh. Thought as much. Yo, Armitage. Alma. I know what I said. Will the chicken you're talking about be cooked already? Oh, you might need to heat it up. Would it be cooked otherwise? Great. I expect you here Sunday at 8pm. Thanks. Anyway, I'll be back to my office. Spicy wings, let's go! And yeah, 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 I'll, I'll give you that. It might be the coffee. The, uh, the coffee from the Kahlua, I think. That does that. <laughs> she left the bucket. Want some? Don't mind if I do. Oh, mild spice. Nice. Weird. Maybe she got a mixed up order and that's why she left them here. Usually order stronger stuff? I found buckets that make my throat itch just from being near them. That's how you know that's a good place. Fuck. Hmm. Hey Joe, what kind of guys do you like? That's a sudden question. I'm not too picky with guys to be honest. I just want them to be decent and done enough. Not jealous, not aggressive, responsible enough to keep a job. Oh, that's no good. Do you like them buff? What about tall? Hmm. No tattoos or piercings, I guess. Never liked either. What about you? I like... <sighs> Sorry. Oh, man. I like them well-dressed. If they go out in iron shirts and well-coordinated clothes, they're sure to catch my eye. Some muscle is always fine too, but sharply dressed males catch my attention faster. And yet yeah, you're still single. That's how I like my men. My potential husband, on the other hand, is another matter completely. Wait, what? Let's see. So, can you get me a drink here? The spicy wings turned out to be spicy. What do I get you? Anything, as long as it helps me with the spiciness in my mouth. How do you... Hmm... What? Milk-like drink for the spite? I don't think... I think we got anything like that. Ooh, do you know what goes good with spicy wings? Get rid of the white Russian. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, damn. No more spice, but I have other problems now. Alright, so, next question. What kind of girl do you like? Uh. Hmm. Y you first. I'm sorry, I don't swing that way. Sure, I have no qualms about saying a girl is cute or cool, but... Nope, I prefer men in my bed. Now you. Goddamn. I, I guess I like girls with light-colored hair. Light-colored hair. Yeah, you know, like, redheads and such. What about white? Like your boss? You were just setting me up for that comment, weren't you? Sorry, it's just that when she got here with the bucket of wings, your eyes pretty much started sparkling. Ah, uh, you know what? Dana... Dana's pretty cute. I would probably have the same reaction to seeing her. With a bucket of spicy wings? Forget about it. Your whole behavior transformed. You became giddy and cheerful all of a sudden. Hey, I can't blame you. She's pretty nice. I just felt like teasing you. Hmm. So light-colored hair. 
What about blondes? Do you like me? Yeah, I guess. Let's say I'm into girls too and I start hitting on you. We go along with it. Nice body, pretty face, and a good apartment. I would never let you go. Alright, enough tangents. Why don't you tell me why you're feeling shitty these last days? What? Oh, that. I told you not to think too much about it. What a chick brings you wings. I told you I want to know. Come on, Joe. You've heard my problems so many times. I want to help you. Come on, come here. <gasps> We're... What? There she is! There's our girl! Uh, uh. Alright. Bad touch, bad touch. They did. I think they did a great job uh, with all of the characters in this game. But I especially like Jill. Don't know why. I can't put my finger on it. Alright then, now I'm the bartender, and you're the client. Hardly. The bartending station only works with me. I see. Okay then, I move this here. Oh! Here and, now it works for you, for me, and that dog in the Hawaiian shirt. Why with him too? <laughs> He's a dog, in a fucking Hawaiian shirt. Right, and how'd you even manage to... Oh, yeah, hacker, right. Now we've changed rules. You've been feeling shitty, mind telling me why? It's... A long story. I don't even know where to start. Let's start from the beginning. Okay then, something that goes back to my college years. Oh, that's taking you way back. Back in compulsory education, I never made too much of an effort, but I managed to get high grades. Even in PE, I managed to do well enough to always get perfect grades. And then, of course, when I got to college, shit started getting hard. I had this perfectionist streak that wouldn't let me fail anything. Burning my eyelashes studying, I eventually managed to keep up good grades. After about half of the career, I met a student teacher. Her name was Lenore. She helped me a lot with my studies. She even got me into stuff that gave me more credits. I really liked her. After some time, I found out she liked me too. Oh. <laughs> We started going out. I met all of her family even and... You want a drink? What? Oh. She's... She's too cute. I love Jill. There was no such pause. Please, I want to test this whole bartending interface. Uh, a sugar rush then. You can't mess that up. I said you can't mess up a sugar rush. <laughs> I have this gut feeling that with your body you make a better bartender than me. Mess it up. <laughs> oh, you're selling yourself too short. You're cute, you know. People don't go to bars for cuteness, though. 
You've obviously never been to a cat bar then. Besides, my boobs can be a hassle in trying to move around this kind of stuff. So, keep telling the story. <sighs> well, as the career went on and on, it got harder and harder. The last year and a half of it became nothing but study session after study session, investigations, my thesis. When the graduation ceremony came, I had to make a speech and suddenly, while reading said speech, almost had a panic attack. Fear of public speaking? I realized I lost about a year and a half of my life. I tried to remember if I did anything fun and all, but all I could remember was studying and investigating new topics. Didn't even enjoy doing all of that. I was just standing there and the satisfaction of graduating was minimal. I realized I'd only gone through the motions day after day from high school to graduating. I felt like whole years of my life had slipped through my fingers. I never stopped to think if I enjoyed what I was doing. In fact, I never stopped. But at that point I stopped and realized I needed a, a breather or something. Did I even like that career? It was all terrifying as hell. I needed all of my strength and I would start running like a panicked mess. So, a couple months later, I get an offer to start working at this big research facility. Lenore was ecstatic. He was so proud of me back then. I was just scared. That would be my job. I spent my life expanding on what I did during that year and a half. If I had sudden realization, like when I had a graduation, but when I turned 40, didn't know what to do, but I sure as hell wasn't taking that offer. I told Lenore and she freaked out. She confessed she was jealous because she never got such a chance. Things devolved pretty quickly. She said one too many things. I said one too many things. In the end, I just stormed out of her house and I broke a vase in the process. After that, I never spoke to her again. Damn. I'm sorry, I suddenly feel bad for pushing you to tell me all that. Why are you feeling shitty about that after all this time, though? Unless you've been feeling shitty for years. Well, I have, but it's not just because of that. Eh? The other day, Lenore's sister, Gabriel, came to the bar. Apparently, Lenore died last week. Localized Manano Machine Rejection A heart attack Apparently she had it for a long time but never told anyone And coincidentally it got worse after I left I just can't stop thinking about it Wondering if me being there would have made a difference And if it's true that she had that for a long time why didn't she tell me she was sick when we were together? I don't know, I just feel like all kinds of failure. Chill. To make it worse, I also lashed out at Gabby. Yes, she was blaming me for her sister's death and all, but she's just a kid for fuck's sake. Lost her sister who pretty much raised her on her own. And to top it all off, I suddenly can't remember what stopped me from apologizing. Pride? Fear? A stupid effort to leave the most awesome person I loved as a thing of the past? Who cares? Lost my chance to apologize to her forever. Truly forever. Such a piece of shit. Selfish piece of shit. I honestly don't know what to say. I didn't expect the story to be this. I... Yo, boob tender. Can you get me a big beer here?
big beer for Jill. Thanks. I need to remember to take care of the cans in my apartment. Girl, me too. Do you drink lots of beer? One of the perks of the BTC issued liver implant is that I can drink lots of beer without getting too wasted. Jill, what kind of girl was Lenore? Hmm? Well, she was calm and smart. Back in college, I was too thick headed and got riled up easily. Stressed was my default state. She's just like me for real. So, just like you're behaving right now. Shut up. It was worse. Mm, can't picture that. How can you mix a... I... Listen, man. I... Bartending in the year 2070-something is apparently a whole... The whole clusterfuck, I don't know. It's all just, it's all just throwing fucking food grade chemicals together. Anyway, the beer is now a co- everything is a cocktail. <laughs> it's cocktails all the way down. Anyway, she was always there, finding a way to pull me down. She was also able to hold conversations about pretty much any topic. One time I saw her go from talking about video games to talking about sports. All that variety while still being a hardcore scientist. She always pushed me into social interactions. If she saw me by myself, she would drag me with her. It's, it's so good to, uh to see her smiling here. Watching people is fine, but talking with them is better, she would say. Lenore would always present me to her many acquaintances as the girl I don't mind cuddling with for hours. Man, I'm gonna miss her. To her point, I didn't even think about getting back into a relationship with her, but she was such an awesome person, I just wanted to apologize. And now, you know, in a cruel twist of irony, she's the one that made me pick up bartending. Mm -hmm. Back when I was thinking what the hell to do with my life, I remembered a night we spent in a club. She started talking about how the drinks were synthesized, the chemistry involved, the reactions and all that. Everything sounded so fascinating. I remember saying that her talk made me want to start mixing drinks. She said, if everything else fails, why not take up bartending? Huh. Interesting. Are you okay? There's some value of okay, yeah. It's just... I wanted to thank you. Oh no. Thank me? I guess I just needed someone to tell all this to. And you were the one. You volunteered yourself. You insisted on listening to me. You stood there, listening to the whole thing from beginning to end. I know I might not be the most expressive person, but I'm not one to spout love and fluffiness, but... I really like you. Maybe I'm just a bartender and you're just a client. But I really appreciate your friendship, or at the very least, your patronage. I really enjoy working for you. <laughs> Jill, are you dying? Shut up! I'm trying to have a heart to heart here. Sorry, sorry, it's just. It's weird for you to get so. sappy. Well, I just realized that the saddest thing is how I'll never be able to make amends. 
and it hurts like fucking hell, you know? I never, and I mean never, want to feel that way ever again. I don't want someone to suddenly exit my life and have my last memory of them involve something nasty. I don't want the lingering grief of having burned a bridge on a whim. I want to avoid that at any cost. If that means breaking character every once in a while, so be it. I'll let everyone know how I really feel about them. And if I ever fight with them, I'll swallow my pride, muster all the courage I can, and be the one to apologize. I hate feeling like this. I hate it. I hate it. Well, that's a nice resolution. Maybe I'll be a copycat and do the same. Huh. Alright, enough sappiness. Get back here. I'm on duty, you know. Fine. It's almost closing time anyways. It was fun while it lasted, though. Hey. Yeah? I, I mean, it, you know, thanks for everything today. Silly Joe, you listen to my problems and I listen to yours. That's what friends are for, right? Right. I'll be leaving now. Oh, before I forget. Do you ever talk about all this with your parents? I know the basics, but I haven't told them about Lenore's death yet. Why don't you do that sometime? I don't know. I don't want to bother them with my problems. Don't be silly. They're your parents. They live to share your problems. You should try having a talk like this with them sometime. I'll appreciate it. Anyway, I'm out. See you Sunday. Take care. The oh, almond girl sure is nice. Ah, uh, boss, did you, did you hear all that? Not all of it, but a good chunk, at the very least. Your expression changed a lot already. It didn't? Look happier. It's always good. Anyway, let's call it a day. I expect an even brighter Jill tomorrow. Right. Oh, yeah, boss, about those chicken wings. Fucking idiots at the spicy chicken. Sorry, Dana, we won't have enough spices for your order until tomorrow, they said. Is that how they treat their regulars? I'll call the manager one. Huh? And she's just gone. Okay, well. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, I never really had a uh, regular bartender. I guess I didn't really have anywhere I would just kind of go on a regular basis um, before the before the pandemic hit, you know. got extra money. Let's get... So I checked, he worked at Applebee's. Ooh. Well, fuck it. Why not? Treat ourselves. That's... That's a, that's a rough move. the country that's pretty cool
Yeah, well, you know, hopefully, hopefully thing. Yeah, hopefully things are going well for Tom. feels like an outro place to stop for the night. Um, let's see, tomorrow... Tomorrow I'm going to be doing... going to be reading A Christmas Carol tomorrow morning. Um, the plan is to get through the whole thing. It's... 80 some odd pages yeah 80 some odd pages it'll be fine dramatic reading yes yeah uh that's going to start at uh 10 a.m uh pacific standard time uh and that's that's going to be my my most christmasy stream Unless you wanna, unless you wanna count Yule as Christmassy, but uh, uh, so that's a whole other discussion. Um, until then, I hope you have a good night. Thank you for coming, and I'll see you around. Goodbye.